Hi guys, bit of a camera angle here, but Paul Burt, Backyard Engineering. Right, I had a slight issue, right? I've needed to make something, yeah, to cut these. Let me just look in the camera and see if I can see where I'm actually pointed to. Yes, basically what I've had to do is I've welded in the holes which I previously had in the, the, the wheel and I've made this little device here to allow me to be able to um, mill so I can now turn on an axis so if I just uh, turn on down I can basically just cut down to where I need to go lock it off and I can just turn it by hand gently And that allows me to skim this weld off but unfortunately the wheel is at uh, an angle so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of chicory pokery and set this at a little bit of an angle but if I show you exactly what it is that I've done bum, 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 bum. handle 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 so I can get this off Ooh. loosen the back of the mill up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. So, what I have got is I have taken a flywheel. Let me just uh, double check that I can see what I'm doing on this camera. Yeah, basically, what I've done is I've taken a flywheel which has got this index on it, my big spanner. Then what I've done is I've taken a brake disc and I've turned the outside of the brake disc down so that it fits nicely into there then I've jumped onto um, my aluminium smelter and I've melted up my piece uh, a piece of alley and what I've done is I've indexed it so it fits in the disc and then just basically bolted it to that I then chucked this back on the lathe and centered it chucked it back in the lathe centered it all back up Getting then what I've done is I've cut across and I've put the index there so that the index on this wheel sent this piece of the wheel here sits nicely onto there then I've taken my center out of the wheel balancing machine which then goes in from behind I can then Bolt the wheel central. So now I've got something where I can turn the wheel. So what I need to do, I've only got one bolt through here at the moment, is I've got to figure out the center line and then pack this up at the back to get this at an angle, not much of an angle, and that will allow me to be able to mount the wheel and ever so slight cock uh, sorry I've got to lift that side of it up the back side not the front so even easier and that will allow me to spin the angle the, the wheel on an ever so slight kilter which will mean that the fly cutter will cut nice and smooth without me having to lift it move it in a little bit lift it move it in a little bit lift it move it in a little bit so if I show you basically <laughs> I shall take the camera now, like so. So this is one that I've just filed, uh, roughly. Uh, took a fucking long time. That is one that I've obviously started on the fly cutter. So you can see the steps because this is angled and it needs to be flat. 
and this is the one where I ran out of gas and it just went <laughs> fuck through fucking aluminium everywhere but uh, the other holes are welded a couple of grounds more welded you can see where I was starting to run out of gas in places and I obviously need to fill the valve hole on this one now that I'm welding it up so that's where I've got to on my wheel at the moment so uh, once I get this all set up I'll get this one back in powder coat and I've decided that I'm going to put five uh, same as I did in Anders wheels and Cosnico's wheels I'm going to drill down through here and put five bolts instead of 15 so there'll just be one there one there one there one there and one there because it's now welded at the front it's welded at the back the the burn through on these holes goes more or less all the way through to the other side so it's pegged so it should be good. Okie dokie, Paul Burt, Backyard Engineering, signing out. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Okay, dogs. Right, back again. So, I have taken a brake disc. Crap, nasty old fucking brake disc. I uh, just spun it up on the lathe to cut the center out of it. And I have put an index on there, which matches with the index on there. So that now sits on there. So this will take the chatter out of it. So the next thing to do is drill like six bolts holes. It was an automatic flywheel, so it hasn't got any holes around the outside which I can go into so I shall have to basically mark six holes center you bastard yeah mark six holes drill them through tap them to M6 which should be hunky dory and then just bolt that on from there and then the center can still turn and that can still turn as you can see everything still turns together I've made it so that it's sat beautiful and flush so if the worst came to it i could always put uh feel gauge shims to make sure that it comes down uh but yeah that's it hunky dory so next stage will be next stage okie dokie